Hey, Wigglebots, what's up? How you doing? Happy Wednesday. How's Jupiter doing? Hey, Madden, how are you? Happy Wednesday. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, I, uh, I just got home a short while ago. Actually, I had a, an all day training at work and uh, the group I was training with, uh, we basically stayed for a, for a drink and then I had to go to the post office and mail out some holiday cards and uh, now I'm home. Uh, somebody just popped in. Sorry. It was Robin. Robin, thanks so much for being here. How are you? Thanks for being here. Calvin, come here, bud. Oh, good. Good to hear. So, so Jupiter is adjusting well. Come here, baby. Yeah, you got your toy. Yes, you've got your toy. Oh, uh, thanks, Converse Max. Appreciate it. Cheers to Italy, too. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, we got eight people and only two likes. If you joined us, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Calvin's here. Calvin's playing with his raccoon toy, courtesy of uh, Ruby and Rock, that he's pretty much destroyed. It's about ready to go into the garbage soon. If you haven't said hello yet, say hello. I see eight people in, four likes. Who else is in the chat? Oh, that's good to hear. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Uh, Madam, we've been doing fine. Yeah, I've been really busy with work this past month, but uh, we're doing fine otherwise, trying to get ready for the holidays. I'm still behind on some holiday shopping and getting ready for the season, but otherwise fine. How you doing? Hey, Krubby, how you doing? Hey, Yvette, how you doing? Thanks for being here. Hey, Cal, you got some friends, say hi. Here's the man of the hour. I figured we'd go a little bit with uh, some Christmas hats to uh, get into the spirit. Oh, awesome, Matthew. So glad it arrived. I'm actually uh, really happy. They, they seem to be getting people quicker than I thought. I mailed a bunch out on Saturday. I just put them in my mailbox, and my mail, my, uh, mail delivery person picked them up, which was good. And I had people reach out to me, you know, locally, yes, on Monday, but I sent some, obviously, to other states, and um, I was able to hear from people that they got them yesterday, some today, and I expect, you know, others will get theirs any time now. Um, I missed a comment from the Wigglebutts. Wigglebutts, what did Wiggles say? Oh, the hat's staying on his head because there's a, basically there's a, you know, basically string going around his neck like this, holding it into place. Hey, Jack, how are you? Thanks for being here. Yeah, so people should be getting their cards really soon if they haven't. Um, you know, I, like I said, there were, there was somebody who reached out to me from Kansas and I was like, wow, you already got it. That's amazing. So that's cool. Happy to hear that. And I still have some cards left. So for anybody else who's interested, shoot us an email, uh, J L F R I A R nine A at gmail.com. And I probably have about 15 to 20 cards left. I'm happy to sell, send them out. Uh, hey, Harry, how are you? So, Jack, the Red Wings are playing against your Minnesota Wild. What's your prediction? Hey, Cal, come get your little... What's this? Oh, Barbara, so I sent your card out 
two days after. Yours went out on Monday, like into the mail on Monday, or maybe even yesterday, I forget. It was one of the two, so you should get it any day now, but the first group of cards went out on Saturday, so it seems like those folks have start and started to get it. Nice, one nothing wild. Who scored, Jack? Was it the Erickson Eck line? So I'm actually shocked that Calvin isn't at the uh, the kitchen sink area waiting for a T R E A T. Oh yeah, wiggle butts. You should get it any 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 day now. I I sent yours out on Saturday, so I'd be shocked if you don't get it by tomorrow or the next day. I mean, just based on how quickly others have gotten it. Um, so same thing with you, Jack and Yvette. I obviously sent your cards out on Saturday too, so you should get that any minute, any day. Um, but obviously, if you don't get them in a few days, let me know. I can always send another one. I know, Barbara, but you know what? He's busy with he's busy with his uh, raccoon toy that Ruby and Rock gave him. So we're cool with that. But look at how cute he is. He's so cute, right, Calvin? You look so cute. Your add on. You want your raccoon? There you go, bud. I'm gonna try to lower this uh, this tripod a little bit just to get more of Calvin in the frame. Give me one second. Completely not level. Let's try this again. Let's see. Oh, uh, thanks, Yvette. Yeah, appreciate that. All right, we got Calvin Moore in the frame. Happy holidays, TL. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Oh, okay, that you haven't checked your mail yet. Yeah, no worries. Calvin's got the raccoon, and I'm shocked that he's keeping the hat on because typically he shakes it off his head. But, oh, I may be speaking too soon. Calvin, here's your toy. Come here. Calvin, go get your ball so we can play. Where's your ball? Go get your ball. Get the ball -y. Oh, now it's the leopard. The leopard's coming now. He's moved on from one animal to the next. So how's everybody's week going? Hopefully pretty good. Hey, Wiley, how are you? Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. How's life in uh, FLA? Let me move out of the way so we can get Cal more in the frame. It's warm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was probably, I don't know, 28 degrees, 30 at tops maybe today. Uh, we got snow on Sunday. They said we were going to get like a coating to like one to two inches, and I think we got like three, but it was really light and fluffy, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but some of it's melted already. Oh, that's good. You're done with your shopping? Yeah, I'm not. Um, I still have, you know, some to do. But I did make a little bit of progress on that, which I'm happy about. I have to buy for this guy right here. I haven't really I haven't really bought anything for Calvin yet, but I'll, I'll knock that out in one day pretty quickly. Like he needs anything else. I pretty much get him anything every time. He's pretty, pretty spoiled. Hey, Emma, how you doing? Thanks so much for being here. Yes. What am I getting you, Wiley? Uh, what do you want? What what what's on your what's on your list for Santa? Let 
Yeah, uh, the, f the folks from Florida, yeah, the cold weather isn't all that it's cracked up to be. You know what? A little bit of snow around Christmas time is nice. It is. It does add to the, uh, to the, uh, you know, the ambiance, if you will. But then pretty much after that, you know, it's like whatever. Players cards at the casino. That's funny, TL. It's funny that you mentioned the casino. So, you know, I, I like to, you know, go to the casino here and there. As you guys know, I love following my slot channel friends. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch. I, I would say I tend to play more table games. And, you know, I do play slots here and there. But, um, you know, my casino gives me a ton of mail with, like, perks and different, like, offers. And I thought it would be fun to show you guys some of the things that I get. So I don't even go that much, like, compared to others that I'm sure that go much more than me. But, for example, I got... When did I get this? Does it even have a date? It doesn't really have a date on it, but... This one says... Don't miss the chance to win your share of 100000 in cash. You are guaranteed 15 entry tickets into each of these great events. Uh, two, obviously missed the Tuesday, December 6th event. But there's another one apparently this Saturday. So I don't know if I should go. Should I go and check it out and see if I'm, if I'm lucky enough to win? That would be kind of fun. Then for this, for this week... Your Bally's rewards for December 12th through January 1st. They want to offer me all these free gifts. Uh, yeah, Cal's on his third toy. Yes, he's on the rope toy. Yes, everybody, hit the like button. I see 12 in and 12 likes, but if you haven't hit that like button, please do. Or I can take all these other offers. They give me, like, free slot play, pick gifts, or they give me cash. Um... Half the time, I don't take advantage of it, though. It's pretty bad. But the coolest thing is every once in a while, the casino feels like they need to give me a free cruise, which I just booked one for to leave uh, at the end of July of next year. But I want another one. And this is from a different cruise line. So basically, Twin River Valley's Casino offered me another cruise. And I don't even have the right paper in front of me, but it's... Basically, a, a, cre a free cruise through either the Princess Cruise Line or Holland America. And I have up until like the end of May to book it and the end of 2023 to sail. And there's all these different itineraries. Yeah, so it's for an inside stateroom. You have to pay for your fee, uh, your port fees, your taxes, your gratuities. Um, and then, of course, if you want to upgrade like your cabin to like an in uh, to like a you know, a balcony or outdoor, you got to pay the difference, but it's good for two people. Uh, this cruise, these cruise lines, Holland America and princess. It's the first time I've ever gotten a free offer from them. They don't provide like the free drink package like Norwegian does. So, um, the cruise I'm going on at the end of, uh, July is through Norwegian and they offer you a lot more perks, but, um, I'm going to at least look in to see what, what's available on this one just to see, you know, what's, what's out there. Cause if it's a good enough deal, who knows, maybe I'll go on another trip, but we'll see. He won't approve of that, but you know, I got to have some fun every now and again. So let me see if I missed some comments. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Not sure it's appropriate to post here. Wiley, LOL, Jeff. Hi, Barbara from uh, Emma. Great to see you too, Wiley. Thanks for being here. Cal's on his third toy. Thanks, Harry. Everybody hit that like button. Uh, yeah, TL Slots, you like the events? Yeah, I, I mean, they're all, they all seem great. Um, every once in a while, I'll take advantage of my free slot play, but then I usually blast through that pretty quickly and I'm putting in my own money, so I'm sure that's part of the, part of the allure of giving it to you. They know you're going to probably spend more than what you put in or what they give you, I should say. Oh, that's cool, Barbara. Your friend want to cruise also? Yeah, Wiley, you're true. It's, it's probably the money in the casino, for sure. 
Oh, thanks, Emma. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm a New England Patriots fan. And we played on Monday against Arizona. And somehow the two teams were played pretty bad football, but I guess we played just a little bit better than the other team. We ended up winning. But, uh, you know, our glory days with Tom – with uh, Tom Brady are over, so uh, I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit of mediocrity for our team for the next few years. Uh, well, Wiley, I wouldn't say I'm a baller. Like, I hardly, you know, you know, maybe I go to the casino twice, three times a month, I would say. That's probably fair. Maybe four. So once a week at the most. And sometimes I, I don't go f for long. You know, other times, like the last time I went... I. I won $100 playing blackjack, and it literally took me like two hours to win $100. It was like the longest thing ever. <laughs> um, and then sometimes I'll go and play blackjack, and I'll hit win $100 in like four hands, and I'm like, okay, I'm done, and then I'll roam around for a bit, and then I'll leave. But, um, but yeah, I mean, and then some days, of course, like I go, and it's like, oh, crap, I lost my shirt. But, you know, it goes with the territory. Uh, Jack, I saw your little Raiders uh, – your little Raiders-themed uh, skull and crossbones there. So we're playing the Raiders next, the Pats. And Jack Tate, who's on this chat, is a big Raiders fan. So we'll have to uh, throw barbs at each other this upcoming week. Yeah, w Wiley, I've been to a couple. I've been to, I think, two different Hard Rocks. I went to the one in Tampa and the one kind of going on the on the way to Miami there. Not actually, was it that one? Um not the one that's shaped like a guitar, but is there another is there another one like in Hollywood? Yeah. I think I went to that one, Hollywood, and then I went to one near Tampa. Hey Rachel, thanks for being here. I appreciate the compliment on our hats. Yeah. Calvin's just kind of falling off now. Let me see if I can fix it for him. Nice job, Cal. Good boy. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. You're such a good boy. Where are you going? Next toy? Go get your ball, honey. Go get the ball. Oh, that's cool, TL. Your casino's giving away gifts every hour. So sometimes the gifts, like at Twin River, like they give me the choice. Like, like sometimes they'll say you can choose the free gifts or the free slot play or like take some money in cash. And most of the time I'll take the free slot play because some of the gifts are like, all right, yeah, they're nice, but it's like I have no use for them. And they'll end up just like collecting space down in my basement and I'll never use it. Friendly smack talk, Wiley. That's it for sure. Oh, Anthony Chihuahua, official Raider hater right here. Nice. <laughs> so, Anthony, who's your team? The Denver Broncos? Is that your, is that your team? Oh, did he go to the kitchen? <laughs> yeah, you guys ready for this? And look at his hat. It kind of fell off sideways. Sorry, I got the tripod here. All right, Cal. What do you got going on here? Your hat's all messed up. Let me fix it, babe. There you go. Well, he's not quite at that spot yet, but give him about 30 seconds, and uh, he'll get there. Oh, Ari, Ari's World's in the house. Hey, how are you guys? Oh, thanks. We, we, he loves his hat, too. This is how much he loves it. This is, where he, this is what he ended up doing with it. It's on the floor now. You put your hat on, Cal? Come on. Good 
Good boy, keep your hat on. Hey, take care, Wiley. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. We'll be in touch. I'm going to flip this camera around. It's just going to be easier for me. Give me one minute. There we go. All right, so now you guys can see Cal and I can see your comment. Hey, we got 13 in the house. Thank you guys for being here. Oh, thanks, Wigglebutts. Yeah, I appreciate it. Ari, he might. I, th I think if I just kept him that, he would You know what? I'm actually shocked, though. He's kept it on his head a lot longer than I anticipated. Normally, he shakes it off. I think I saw Elena come in. Hey, the Seahawks have entered the chat. Hey, Helena, how are you? Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, Yvette, no, nah, I won't. I'm not. I mean, I have a sweatshirt on, shorts, and I probably keep the, the temperature at like 64. My house is small. It, it, the heat kicks on and off all the time, so it's pretty comfortable. Oh, thanks, Jack. Oh, you took your hat off. Let's put your hat back on, honey. It's Christmas. Can you keep your hat on, please? Come on. Come on. Hey, JJ, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Cal, what'd you do with your hat, bud? Oh, there it is again. Trying to keep your house cool at 75? Oh, man. What's the temperature? Hey, Amy, how you doing? Thanks for being here. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Appreciate you stopping by. Oh, Cal, you need some water, honey. I don't have any water in there for you. Let me take care of that. All right, let me give him some water. Good to see everybody here. I appreciate it. Like once again, we don't plan these things a lot of times. We just pop on. So I appreciate you guys spending some time with us. Oh, cool. Michelle, what, what time are you guys going live? At 9? 71 with 89% humidity. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not that warm here. Hey, Alexa, what's the current temperature? Right now, it's 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, it's 33 here. So just above freezing. 9 p.m. live blackjack. Is that 9 p.m. Central or 9 p.m. Eastern? Oh, Eastern. Okay. Cal, what are you looking for, bud? Can we put your Christmas hat on? It's Christmas season. Let's put your Christmas hat on. Okay, good boy, honey. Yes, you look cute. I'll give you a treat. Can you sit down like a good boy? Come here. Sit. Sit on your mat. Ooh, 10 a.m. wiggle butts. All right, so I am working, but I will make sure to play the replay for sure tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to repeat this for those who just jumped on, but there's some folks who are, who are on 
this live stream who I've sent uh, holiday cards to. I think a few of you have already got it. Um, some of them you haven't gotten it yet, but I would be shocked if you didn't get it within the next day or two. Um, but for those of you who are interested in a holiday card, we still have about, I think, 18 or so left. Would love to send you guys one. All you need to do is shoot me your email address, jlfriar98 at gmail.com. Shoot me an email with your address, and I'll mail one out to you. Anthony, yes, I have about, I think, I don't know, somewhere around 18 or so left. I bought 50, so I've given out over 30, 30 cards already. So, yeah, shoot me an email because when they're gone, they're gone. I did save one for myself um, as a memento. So, you know, so essentially, I guess I have 49 to give out. But, um, but seriously, uh, a few of you I've sent, um, and... Like, again, you might not have gotten it yet, but I wouldn't be shocked if you, if you don't get it soon. Hey, Leonie, thank you so much. I appreciate that message. Yes, family first. Happy holidays to you. Thank you for being here. Uh, oh, you like the stockings? Yeah, so the J is for, for me, clearly. And then I went a little bit uh, more, more, I guess, generic, you could say, for, the, for Calvin and... I had the stocking from my prior Boston Terrier, who's no longer with me. But um, yeah, you should get it any minute, Wigglebutts. Um, I don't want to spoil it for, for those that haven't gotten it yet. Um, there's a few of you who I sent cards to who didn't ask for them, but I, had your, I found your mailing addresses on your YouTube pages. So, um, so for those of you with like PO boxes, um, I'll, I'll tell you straight out, like uh, TL Slots, I sent you guys a card. You should get it hopefully any day now. Um, I sent Gallivant or Slots a card. Now they're not on this live stream, but I sent it to their PO box that's on their YouTube page. Uh, JJ, Slot Play already got theirs. Um, sent it to quite a few people. I actually went to the post office today and there are six international cards that I mailed out today. So, uh, I just popped those in the, uh, post office because, you know, you need to get special stamps for that. Now, I I'm hoping they get theirs before Christmas, but yeah, seriously, um, shoot me an email and, uh, send me, send me an email and I'll definitely, you know, as long as I have them, I'll send them out. It's just a little thank you from us. We really appreciate everybody's support this year. Um, uh, so TL, I don't know if yours went to the post office, uh, sorry, your, your PO box. Um, I believe I sent it to the address that was on the package that you sent us. So hopefully that's okay. I had saved the box and just sent it there. Um, I haven't gotten any return mail, so I'm hoping you're able to get mail at that address. If not, I'm happy to send another card. Oh, Amy, I'm so glad you got your card. Awesome. So cool. Sabine, how are you? Thanks for being here. Sabine from South Africa. Wow, it's early there. What's it, 2.30 in the morning? Michael, how are you? Thanks for being here. We're doing well, thanks. Hopefully you're doing well too. Good, good to hear, Michael. This is what I love about YouTube. I love the fact that I've made connections with so many people from all over the world. And there's not a lot of platforms where you can say you can do that. And, um, you know, I know obviously I haven't met most of you in person, but it's just a cool, you know, you still feel connected, right? And that's for me what's, what's the most important part about this, the, the YouTube platform is the community you build. And, um, you know, we're grateful for that. Of course, obviously, we hope, we hope to grow next year and achieve goals. But um, honestly, like if it weren't for the community, I would have quit this gig like, you know, probably three months after we started it. It's really about the people we've met and encountered at the end of the day.
Yeah, shoot me an email. J, uh, yeah, if somebody wants to put it in the live chat, it's JL, my initials, JL Fryer, F R I A R 98 at gmail.com. And if you're wondering what the Fryer comes from, I went to Providence College and our mascot was the Friars. So we were the Providence College Friars. So essentially, it's my initials. Friar98 at gmail.com. Hi, Cal. I know you're sitting there waiting for treats, but you look so cute. This is postcard material. Hey, Ed, how are you? Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Happy holidays to you. Hey, we got 21 in the chat. Appreciate it. 19 likes. If you haven't hit that like button, please uh, hit that like button. Calvin and I are just chilling out on a Wednesday. Had a long day at work. I had all day training. Um, and then I had to run a couple of errands after work. And then I got home. I ate something quick. And now we're on. Yeah, Cal's waiting for a treat. I'll give him another treat. I'll, I'll give him a special treat, actually. Okay, can you sit like a good boy, honey? Good job. Come here. All right, so Calvin's gonna go high with this treat. Yep, treat, please. I love the way he eats sometimes. It's funny, he's really demonstrative when he, when he eats. Let's see if I can get this a little closer up. <laughs> How is it, Cal, is it good? I'm super impressed that he's keeping his hat on. I just did not expect that. Oh, thanks to being, yeah, this is my, my Christmas tree. It's fake. I used to go real all the time. And then I decided that I was going to kind of go fake. Um, I just, you know, I feel like the artificial trees now, they've, they've come a long way. They really, you know, do a good job of making them look realistic. This one came pre-lit, so it comes in three pieces. And when I'm done, I throw it in a box and it's easy. Absolutely, Rachel. Nothing like treats. Yeah, Wigglebutts has a house load. Hey, happy camper. Um, I, it wouldn't, it's definitely not shorts weather in Rhode Island, but I am in the house, and the heat's kicking on and off. So, you know, in the house, I can wear, I can wear shorts, no problem. But it's only 33 degrees Fahrenheit outside so we're talking zero degrees celsius one degree celsius at most oh cal honey i can't keep giving you treats like that give me about 10 minutes and i'll come give you treats we're gonna make you wait for 10 minutes okay honey Oh, yeah, Santa will give him more treats for sure. Anthony, your pizza joint sounds really good. We'll have to, uh, if I'm ever in the Denver area, I'm definitely going to come check it out. I've only been to Denver once. I went there for a work conference, and I actually really liked the city. Um... I think it was like the downtown, like the 16th Avenue or 16th Street, which is that street that's blocked off to cars. It's all pedestrians. There was a lot going on there. Um, that was kind of fun. Hey, Gallivanters, how are you? Thanks for being here. Kyle's patiently waiting for some T-R-E-A-T. Yeah, that's it, Anthony. Exactly. Yeah, 16 Street, T-U Street Mall, whatever it's called. Yeah, it was a cool area. I liked it. I remember that pretty pretty well. So Galvanters, uh, your live was awesome yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Really, really cool. 
Um, just figured I'd let you know that. And also, too, I was telling folks earlier, um, I sent you guys a Calvin Christmas card, and I sent it to the P.O. box that's on your YouTube channel. So I don't know how often you check that, but you know you should be getting a card from us within the next day or so if it's not already there. Just an FYI. Oh, anytime. No, you're welcome. Thank you for all your support this year. We really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Thanks, Michelle. Yep, totally get it. Um, when I'm off this, I'll, I'll come check out your live for sure. I want to see you guys, so I'll, I'll, I'll jump on for sure. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Calvin, you're sitting like a good boy, honey. What do you want? Come here. Come here, baby. Come on. Uh, yes. So, uh, Christmas Eve, my, my aunt, my mom's sister, she does like an open house, if you will, for Christmas Eve. So, you know, a lot of people filter in and out. There's probably like a good 40 or 40 or 50 or so people that go through. Um, and it's, potluck you know they they have some of the food catered and then other folks like chip in with like dishes like so you know i'll bring something to the party and then christmas day my dad's brother used to host dinner for like you know probably like 20 of us but they they sold their house they ended up moving to new hampshire for a few years then they ended up selling that house and now they're they have like this basically gigantic rv and they're traveling all over the place, but you know, they come obviously and visit, you know, here to visit family. So before COVID, two years before COVID, in my little house, we did a Christmas breakfast for me, my parents, my sister, brother in law, their kids, a couple of the grandkids. You know, probably had like 12 to 15, super casual, um, you know, nothing fancy. And the best part about it is by like noon, one o'clock, everybody kind of went off and did their own thing and people could spend the rest of the day the way they wanted. But um, obviously with COVID the last two years, we didn't really do much of much of anything. Um, my aunt is doing the Christmas Eve this year and then we're still figuring out Christmas Day. But I'm willing to host the Christmas breakfast at my house um, if that's what they want to do. It's fine by me. And if not, I'll do whatever. Take care, Anthony. Sorry, I missed you leaving. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Anthony. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we'll talk to you later. I appreciate it, for sure. Right, Ari. Yeah, Christmas breakfast and done. It's kind of nice. Um, so, it's all good. So, so Amy, do you, I'm assuming you work nights. Is that your typical shift? You work, uh, you know, in the evenings or do you, or, is, or is your schedule all over the place? Yeah, Sabine, it's good. I love breakfast. Actually, breakfast food is like my favorite. Like, I mean, some days like for dinner, I'll, I'll have breakfast foods. I don't feel like cooking and I'll, I'll eat, you know, like I'll make like, uh, an egg like sandwich or something like that for breakfast, uh, for dinner. Um, I just love breakfast. Hey, Jensen, Jake, thanks for being here. Hey, good boy, Chevy. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Hey, that would be fun. Yeah, maybe on Christmas Day in the evening, we'll, uh, we'll go live again if nobody's got anything. Oh, yeah, bacon for sure. Eggs, pancakes, you know, potato. We kind of have everything, Dan like Danish, fruit. We go all out. Oh, yeah, Tom, tell Laura to get better soon. I'm sorry to hear that she's under the weather. Oh, Amy, you work 3 to 11. Um, okay, yeah, so like a second shift. Yeah, I, 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 I've never worked a second shift before, um, but I know some people like it. It works better for their lifestyle. I, I generally work, you know, days, but sometimes I take my work home with me. Sometimes I have to do stuff on the weekends. 
Give Calvin a tree. Okay, I'll give him another tree. I, I've given him about three since this live started, but I'll give him another one. All right, Calvin. This is what I call a dog taking advantage of his human at this point. Take care, Wigglebuds. Appreciate it. Oh, uh, you guys had breakfast for dinner too? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I love it. It's just, I love breakfast food. It's my favorite. Just making sure I didn't miss any comments here. Yeah, I know, Amy, for sure. Cal, your, your Christmas hat's on sideways. It kind of looks cool. I'm going to leave it like that for a bit. For sure. Yeah, me too, Yvette. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Um, I love... Uh, I, I, I've not recently, probably over the last, like, two or three years, but, like... I love, like, pancakes and, like, waffles and French toast, but, like, I recently bought the Kodiak. Are you guys familiar with the Kodiak? I'll, guys, I'll just show you guys. It's just easier for me to show you, but I love... I, I buy this for, like, pancake mix. It's the Kodiak cakes, whole grain. Um, but it's got protein. It's got, like, 14 grams of protein in it, and I just love this stuff. They have different flavors too. Hey, Riku, how you doing? Yeah, I like it too, Chevy. It's kind of funny. Can you guys see the little bit of drool hanging from Cal's mouth? Well, maybe a lot of drool hanging from Cal's mouth. Oh boy. You want another treat, honey? You know what, we're gonna switch it up. I, I have little, I'm gonna give you training treats because, okay, come here, come sit. Sit. Good boy. Can I have a high five? Good boy. Can I have a high five? Good boy, honey. Yes. All right. Good job, bud. All right. So, Calvin, listen. That's cool. Oh, that's good, TL. Yeah, I love cinnamon. I put cinnamon on my French toast as well. Um, so I'm a big, like, peanut butter is possibly one of my most favorite things on earth. So I'll actually take all-natural peanut butter, and I'll put that in my pancake mix along with an egg and, you know, obviously the pancake mix. And I'll substitute water for, like, unsweetened coconut milk or um, oat milk. And I'll, I'll make it that way. It's got a little bit more calories, but it's just so good. Uh, no, Amy, I'm lucky. He's not at all. Hey, Amy, Vita Loca, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah, Amy, no, Galvin's really not gassy. I mean, every once in a blue moon, but not, not really. I'm lucky. If I gave him this whole bag, he would eat this whole bag. I know, Rachel, exactly. Oh, okay, thanks for being here. Sure will, I'll give him a kiss. Calvin, come here, let me give you a kiss, bud. Ready? You want a kiss? Give me a kiss. You're a good boy, honey. Are you a good boy? Yes, you are.
Yeah, he's got some beautiful eyes. Yes, don't work too hard, uh, good boy, Chevy. Enjoy your coffee for sure. I love the fact that it's like, you know, for, for good boy Chevy who's in Japan, I'm pretty sure, I think you're 12 hours ahead of us. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it almost 9 a.m. on Thursday where you live? I think you guys are 12 hours ahead of Eastern time, but I could be wrong. I could just be making that up. We're doing okay, Riku. Yeah, I was just telling folks, it was a busy day for me today. Uh, I had a long day of training at work. Actually, it was off-site, but, um, and then I had some errands to run and figured we'd come on live for a bit to say hello. Eleven a.m. Okay, so I'm way off. So it's fourteen hours ahead. All right, guess I'm close, close but not close enough. All right, I missed something funny that the Galavant is saying. Ah, uh, you gained two thousand calories just thinking about food. It is the time of year. So sadly, I don't even really have any. Oh, that's not true. I do have some candy, but I it's all chocolate. And I'm a weirdo. I keep, I, keep, I keep my chocolate in the refrigerator. Does anybody else do that? I'm a sucker for dark, dark chocolate. Oh, I got some... What do I got? What else do I have in here? I got some leftover Halloween candy, I, I think, in here too. But I love, I love this stuff. Um, so Amy... I am very lucky. I, when I go to work, like, he'll stay with my folks all day. But if I'm going, you know, if I go out, like, on the weekends and I'm out for a few hours, yeah, he has full range of the house. I just leave him. I leave him out. Like, you know, he can do whatever. But basically, he has a little bit of separation anxiety. He really hates when I leave. He'll, like, bark. He'll bark at me big time. Um... And then the second I close this door behind me, he'll stop barking and then he'll basically, I'll show you exactly what he does. He will sit on this arm of the couch and he will stare out that window the entire time until I get home. It's, it's kind of like, you know, it's sad, but it's, it's, but it's heart melting at the same time. So when I pull him to my driveway, you know, I have the, uh, the, the blinds, you know, partially open so I can see through. And um, I'll just stare at the window as I'm pulling into the driveway. And I can see him, like, looking out the window. It's, it's the cutest thing. Uh, Barbara, I don't leave the TV on, but I do, uh, I leave lights on for him. Like, I don't leave him in the total darkness at all. Yeah, I do the same thing, uh, good boy Chevy. I'll put all natural peanut butter on my dark chocolate. And in fact, I think I'm gonna treat myself to a piece. Um, but, but yeah, I love, I love my chocolate refrigerated. Not that I won't eat it, you know, room temperature, but I prefer it, uh, prefer it refrigerated. So Chevy, I'll take it one step further. I'll take a chocolate square, I'll put peanut butter on top, and then I'll put a little dollop of like uh, whipped cream on top of that. It's like a, its own little mini dessert. Yeah, I use all natural peanut butter. I used to like, you know, as a kid and like young adult, I used to eat some of the stuff with sugar, but this is what I eat now. Teddy, all natural, smooth peanut butter. I think it's a local brand. To us, I'm not sure though, let me look. Yeah, Everett, Massachusetts, so I'm pretty sure this is probably not everywhere, but it's good, I like it. The only, the only problem I have with it is the oil separates from the peanut butter, so you know, you have to like, you know, stir the crap out of it. <laughs> Sorry, Gallivanter. 
Calvin, you're drooling like crazy, bud. Oh, it's really good. They have different kinds, too. Like, I get the smooth, but they have the super crunchy, and uh, I actually buy one. I don't know if I have it. I might have some in the in the cabinet. Let me look. But they actually sell one. Let's see if I have a jar of it. Uh... I guess not. I don't have an extra one, but they sell one with like flaxseed in it, which is really good. JJ, what is fantasy fudge? I've never heard of that before. All right, Cal, you're drooling like crazy. Calvin, what, what are you doing, bud? I've overfed you treats, for one. Marshmallow cream jar. No, I haven't heard of it. Um, have you tried it before? I've never made it before. Sounds interesting for sure. You know what he'll you know what I'll give him that he'll want even more than peanut butter? Hey Calvin, do you want some whipped cream? I'll give you a little whipped cream. I'll give you a little whipped cream, bud. Alright, here you go, buddy. Ready? So I just gave him a little dollop of whipped cream. Good point, Rachel. I love fudge. Oh yeah, he knows anything food related. Honestly, like, I'm convinced that if I fed him, you know, other than his like regular kibble, like he just, for some reason he doesn't do it with that. But like, if I were to just feed him, you know, any food, he would, I think, eat it until he died. Basically. I just think he would eat it until he bursted. Calvin, what are you doing, bud? I think you ate it all. You want a little more? I'll give you a little, another, another doll. Yeah, that's it. You're done. Yeah, he did, Amy. I, th th trust me. When it comes to lives, he gets he gets more than I would ever give him outside of lives. So if I did this every day, this poor dog would be uh, probably like 10 pounds heavier than he is, but... Trust me, this is not the norm. You know, I'm pretty right, I'm pretty controlled with his treat intake. You know, his food, he, he only eats like twice a day, really. Exactly, Amy. I'm sure he is like that. But yeah, he loves, like, I mean, he loves pretty much anything, but I would say his favorite snacks, human snacks, would be peanut butter, whipped cream, carrots, popcorn, banana, strawberry. He loves, like, pretty much any fruit. I actually, no joke, I've given, like, I'll make, like, I'll fix myself a salad, like a mixed green salad, and I'll just be like, here, take a, uh, a salad leaf, like a green and he'll like go run with it and he'll eat it. Like he'll eat salad. I'll give him cucumber, he'll eat that. You know, I don't give him anything like, you know, I obviously don't give him like garlic or onion or anything that's bad for him, but it's it's crazy. Oh yeah, Elena, he loves carrots. Like loves carrots. Totally loves them. Is 
Let me, you should try it with beer, Elena and Sunny. See if they like it. They're, it's actually a really healthy snack for dogs. You know, it's better. I mean, I would argue that carrots are probably better for him than the, the biscuits that I, that I give him. I would, I would think that's the way to do it. Yeah, carrots are good. Cucumbers, like, I mean, he loves, cu I mean, this is, dog is crazy. He has, like, no, he's, he's indiscriminate when it comes to food. Um, it's, it's so bizarre. Like, I've never seen, like, you know, my other dog that I had before him, you know, he liked certain people food, but, like, not carrots, nothing fruit, nothing vegetables. He wouldn't touch it. I agree, Ari, but it's all natural stuff, though. To me, it grows out of the earth. So, you know, I feel like, you know, as long as it's not considered poisonous, like obviously, you know, dogs can't have onions. It's considered toxic to them. But like if it's not toxic and it's coming from the earth, it's, it's hard to argue there not being some health properties to it. But, but I agree, everything in moderation. Um, but like, and, I, and the carrots I give him, you know, they're baby carrots. They're not like, you know, they're not big like stalks, carrot, like carrot sticks. They're just like little baby carrots that I'll give him. And then cucumber, like a lot of times, like I said, I'll be fixing myself a salad and I'll be cutting cucumber and like I'll give him like one little piece of it. Yeah, I agree of that for sure. But like, you know, but if you were to ask me my preference for me as a human, I know I can't do it all the time because it's not healthy. But if somebody gave me the choice of eating a cookie or a salad, you best believe I'd be eating cookies until the cows came home. But I know I can't do that all the time because it's not the healthy choice. But what I want and what I eat are two different things. Sometimes. All right, Cal. All right, Cal, honey. Like, honestly, you can't, you can't eat this much. I've given you quite a bit. Oh, you're welcome, Rico. So Rico, actually, I just put yours in the mail today. I went to the post office after work. I had six cards to mail out internationally. Yours was one of them. Uh, so I'm hoping you get yours within a week, week to 10 days. I'm hoping that you get it before Christmas. Hey, John, how you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, Galavanters, I agree. I think he's satisfied or somewhat satisfied. He's going to have to be, I guess, at this point because I can't really give him any more. Cal, I can't give you any more, hon. I've given you quite a bit. You need to be happy. You look so cute with your hat off. But let's put it back on your head. Come here. Put your hat back on. Good boy. You look cute. All right, nice job. So what time is it? It is, oh wow, we've been on for an hour. Oh, you're, you're welcome, Gal Vanters. Uh, you, like I said, if you haven't gotten it yet, you should get it any day now. Um, I'm not sure how often you check your P.O. box, but that's where I sent it to. So you should see it. Hey, Fox. Thanks for being here. Take care, Chevy. I really, really appreciate you stopping by. Hey, Fox. I just saw you come in. I Sorry I missed it. Exactly, Emma. Definitely in moderation. And like I said, he gets more stuff on the live videos. Like the, what, what I saw you, what you guys see him eat. I, I don't give him, like, even half of that in a night. But, you know, he's twisting my arm here, so. Oh, I'm so glad you got your card, yeah, today. Appreciate it, me, Vita Look, I'm glad you liked it. Thanks, Ari, for being here. Yeah, so we're, we're going to wrap it up. It's been an hour. And I know Ed and Michelle are going live now, and I, you know, I want to respect their time too. So um, thank you guys for spending some time with us today. And uh, it's a lot of fun as always. We really, really enjoy talking to you guys. Uh, if we don't see some of you or talk to you before Christmas and the holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays. But I'm sure we'll try to go live at least once, once more before 
before Christmas. But thank you guys so much for being here. We really, really appreciate it. Have a good evening. Bye. Say bye, Cal. Thanks. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Take care.